Hey guys, thanks for being here with me today. We're watching Oppenheimer. So I have read a little bit about Oppenheimer, uh, just out of curiosity. And, and we all know that he was the engineer behind the two atom bombs during World War II that were deployed. So I'm not sure what at what point this film is taking place, whether it be before, during, after. It'd be interesting to see how they make this into like a gripping film. Although I did see that they won a lot of Oscars. So let's give this film a try and let's see what this is about. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification buttons, head over to Patreon for the full reaction videos. You can also check out the full reaction video on my website. And there is a schedule as well on my website. So don't forget to sign up for the notifications for that. Let's get on this one, you guys. Oh, this one actually has Killian Murphy playing Oppenheimer. Actually, I did see him in the Peaky Blinders series, actually. I've seen a few of those episodes. That was back when, before I even started this channel. I guess it'd be good to give this film a watch. I'm not too sure why it was important to create a film on Oppenheimer, but I guess I'll find out after I've finished watching the movie. Let's get on this one, you guys. Be interesting to know what the psyche was behind the guy that engineered the atom bombs. I wonder if he even knew what was going on. Oh my. Prometheus stole fire from the gods and gave it to man. Oh, for this he was changed to a rock? Oh my gosh. Torture for eternity. Oh. Nuclear fission. We're not judges, doctor. Members of the security board, the so-called derogatory information in your indictment cannot be fairly understood except in the context of my life and my work. Oh. How long did he testify? The whole hearing took a month. No hard to know. Well, I've only read the transcript. Huh. Oppenheimer still divides America. I mean, he's going to want to know where you stood. There oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, he would divide America. They bring up Oppenheimer, you answer honestly. No senator can deny you did your duty. I mean, I'm sure there was a better option than dropping an atom bomb. I, uh, I wanted to study the new facility under Patrick Blackett. Were you happier there than in America? Happier? Yes. Oh. No. Oh. I was homesick, um, troubled by visions of a hidden universe. Mind of an extremely intelligent fellow. Oh, really? I need to go to the lecture, sir. Why? It smells boar. Oh. Huh. I don't know. You want to buy it? Smells boar. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Did he just inject that with cyanide? Obviously, he didn't testify that, did he? <laughs> well, he did make. A lot of contribution, didn't he? Whole understanding of nuclear energy. Neil. <gasps> oh, he changed his mind. <laughs> you ask the only good question. Oh, is there nothing huh. inside? This is laboratory work that leaves a little to be desired. <laughs> but you don't. Think oh my gosh, this is quite a stressful situation, isn't it? <laughs> Go to Germany, study under Max Born, learn the ways of theory. <gasps> Where am I? Oh. How's your mathematics? Music, the important <laughs> thing isn't can you read music, it's can you hear it? Can you hear the music, Robert? He yes, sees it all the time. Oh, forget playing basketball. <laughs> oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, seeing how the energy disperses. Interesting. We're commissioner of the Atomic Energy Commission. I was, I met Robert in my capacity as board member of the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton. After the war, he was more open now, great man of physics, and I determined to get him to run the institute. Oh, after the war? Open hand or after the hand? The way you say it, they know I'm Jewish. I'm uh -huh. president of Temple Emanuel. Ooh, whoops. Oh, that really is Einstein. Is it? it looks like him. <laughs> we all recognize Einstein. What was that? Yes, Sadon. Oh, he's fine. You're not worried. 
Why would I be worried after everything you've done for your country? It's changed, Mr. Strauss. Well, the purpose of this institute, provide a haven for independent minds. That's you. You are the man for the job. Bring all the brainiacs to one place, huh? So Dr. Oppenheimer brought your attention to his past associations before you appointed him? Yes. And they didn't concern you? Just then I was entirely concerned what he must have said to Einstein to sour him on me. Uh. <laughs> yes, that's right. Any Russians? Ooh. I'm going to mind. What do you know about quantum mechanics? Well, it's so popular. Grasp on the basics. Then you're doing it wrong. Mm. Is light made up of particles or waves? Quantum mechanics says it's both. How can it be both? It can't. It can't. But it is. It's paradoxical. And yet... It works. <laughs> Is he still there? Oh, good. Oh, we have more. And it's a vicious cycle until, what's the limit here? I feel like I'm in school. See where the math takes us. Me? Yes, you. Your math is better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's throwing ideas off of everyone because they're kind of specialized in different areas. I'm asking you, Admiral Strauss. Uh, my assumption is that it was connected to his left-wing political activities. Oh. You shouldn't let them bring their politics in the classroom, Abby. Yeah. I that. Picasso, Stravinsky, Freud, Marx. Well, this is America. We had our revolution. Keep it out of the lab. Philosophy, postgrads, and communists. Fucking integration. Care about integration. I want to vote oh. for it, not talk about it. I think he's just gathering information. It's like, it's kind of like just listening to what people have to say. Being over by fascist thugs, who wouldn't? Our government. They think that socialism is a bigger threat than fascism. Not for long. Look at what the Nazis are doing to the Jews. I send funds to colleagues in Germany. I'm a great. I have to do something. My own work is so abstract. What are you working on? It's just stars. And they die. Do stars die? Well, if they do, it cool and collapse. In fact, the bigger the star, the more violent its demise. Their gravity gets so concentrated, it swallows everything. Black hole. Can that really happen? The math says it can. If we can get published, then perhaps an astronomer finds one. But right now, all I have is theory. Can't impact people's lives. You're going to send money. They do it through the Communist Party. They can get it to the front line. Oh, I see. Okay. Why limit yourself to one, Doc? You're a physicist. You pick and choose rules? Or do you use the discipline to channel your energies into progress? I like my wiggle room. I like my wiggle room, too. <laughs> okay. Whoa. I poison my tutor. Did you hate him? I liked him very much. You just need to get laid. That's too easy. <laughs> okay. We're all simple souls. Just a mind that's complicated. Sanskrit. You can read mm -hmm. this. I'm learning. That's amazing. And now I am the Kanda, destroyer of worlds. And you can really easily misinterpret all of that too. And you just have a teacher with you when you're reading the Vedas and all of the literature and the scriptures. Please put the uranium nucleus. How? Oh, interesting. Bombarding with neutrons. It's a nuclear fission. They did it. They split the atom. Wow, just blow people's minds, right? Splitting the atom. I don't understand what you want from me. I don't want anything from you. Well, you say that and then you call. Well, don't answer. I'll always answer. You're not coming? I to know when you're beaten, Robert. It's not that simple, Hook. During the Battle of Britain, I found myself increasingly out of sympathy with the <clears throat> policy of neutrality that communists advocated. But after Hitler invaded Russia and we became allies, these communist sympathies, do they return? No. I need to make clear my changing views on Russia did not mean a sharp break from those who held different views. For a year or two during a previous marriage, my wife Kitty had been a Communist Party member. <laughs> Can you explain quantum mechanics to me? Well, it's... Physicist and a biologist. This drink... This countertop, uh, our bodies, all of it. It's mostly empty space. Groupings of tiny energy we bound together. Forces of attraction strong enough to convince us that matter is solid. You know. What's going on here? To my ranch, we should come. I'm in with your husband. Yes, sir. Yeah, I was like, she's married. Why did you marry him? I was lost. Mm. He was kind. 
Not happy in her marriage, huh? Lost? Well, his previous husband had died, and he went to fight for the loyalists. And then he went to the brigades, and I waited. And oh. Joe got himself killed first time he popped his head out of the trench. Oh, no. Ideology got Joe killed for nothing. The Spanish Republic isn't nothing. My husband offered both our futures one fascist bullet from embedding itself in a mud bag. The definition of nothing. Seems a little reductive. Pragmatic. Okay. She knew what she wanted. What about the husband? We talked. Um, they're getting a divorce. We can get married. Wow. She starts showing. I was so oh my. You idiot. This is your community. Brilliance picks up from a lot. Don't alienate the only people in the world that understand what you do. One day you might need them. <laughs> what the project is. Oh, really? We've all heard about Einstein. There's always a way. It's always a solution. Bomb, and I know what it means for the Nazis to have a bond. It's not your people. They're hurting into camps. Why? You think mm. that I tell them about your politics? Being so goddamn naive. I don't really care what I do. Because you're just self-important. You're actually important. If you could just be a little more pragmatic. I'll talk to Lomonitz. I'll talk to the others. You don't have to worry. It's done. Why were his communist association seen as a security risk during the war? Senator, I can't possibly answer. Really, really. <laughs> I know, it's just... Between 1947 and 1954 to change your mind on a yeah. security clearance. It wasn't me who brought the charge here against Rob. Who did? A former staff member of the Joint Congressional Committee. It was a rabid anti-communist named Borton. What did Borton have against Sodomy? This is the McCarthy era. People hounded out of jobs for any hint of red. Reading Oppenheimer's security oh. files. Somebody who wanted Robert silenced. Who? Who knows? Robert didn't take care not to upset power brokers in Washington. His opinions on the atom became definitive. And he wasn't always patient with us mere mortals. <laughs> oh, man. Too smart. I came in plenty of harsh treatment. There was an AEC vote on the export of isotopes to Norway. They drafted in Robert to make me look like a fool. But, no. Congressman, you could use a shovel in making atomic weapons. A isotopes are less useful than electronic components, more useful than a sandwich. Genius is no guarantee of wisdom. How could this man who saw so much be so blind? The project. I'm in. I'm in. Let's celebrate. Oh, the baby's crying. What's wrong with her? Oh. Going to him all fing day. I, I, I'm ashamed to ask. Anything. Oh my. Take Peter. Oh, for, for a while. Does Kitty know you? Yes, of course she knows. We're awful people. Selfish, awful people. Oh. <laughs> He's just straight up. <laughs> We're putting together a group to study. We shouldn't be doing anything. You should. Lawrence won't get this done. We're Tolman or Robbie. You will. It's amazing that they foresee so much. I thought problem number one would be securing enough uranium ore. 1,200 tons bought the day I took charge. Now I'm looking for a project director. And my name came up. Nope. Oops. Even though you brought quantum physics to America, which made me curious. You're a dilettante, a womanizer, suspected communist. I'm a New Deal Democrat. I said suspected. Unstable, theatrical, egotistical, neurotic. Nothing good, no. Not even he's brilliant, but... Well, brilliance is taken for granted in your circle, so no. Now, the only person who had anything good to say was Richard Tolman. Tolman thinks you have integrity, but he also strikes me as a guy who knows more about science than people. It's who you are. <laughs> oh, man. You don't take much of trust. Luck. Nobel Prize for making a bomb. Alfred Nobel invented dynamite. I guess he took being pragmatic to the next level. Zeker <laughs> Diebner in a straight race, the Germans win. We've got one hope, which is anti-Semitism. Hitler called quantum physics Jewish science, right to Einstein's face. Our one hope is that Hitler is so blinded by hate that he's denied Heisenberg resources because it'll take vast resources. All minds have to see the whole oh. task to contribute efficiently. Poor security may cost us the race. Inefficiency will. The Germans know more than us anyway. The Russians don't. Remind me, who were we at war with? What was the first? Take off that ridiculous uniform. You're a scientist. <laughs> They need us for who we are. So be yourself, only better. <laughs> well, I like the hat. Tell us calculations can't be right. Do them yourself. I'll have a reference to What for? Dr. Einstein. Well, there's not much common ground between us. That's where I should get his view. Albert. Hmm? No! <laughs> so have you met Dr. Gertl? We walk here most days. Please. 
are the most inspiring structures. Albert, I don't have a word. Of course. Yes, I agree. Convinced that the Nazis can poison his food. Oh my. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they read so fast. Neutrons to smash into other nuclear. Point of no return, massive explosion. But this time, game reaction doesn't stop. It would ignite the atmosphere. You detonate an oh. device, we might start a chain reaction that destroys the world. Yeah, how did they figure Lost in your the distance? World of probabilities. And if the truth is catastrophic, then you stop and you share your findings with the Nazis. So neither. Ah, fight. talk to them. The mm. This is yours, not mine. He's right, I believe it. Anyone in their right mind would not want to use any nuclear bombs. Never. It's just destruction. We don't need destruction. Tell us critical assumptions. There was no way to know. Will take you only so far. Mm. Testing. Oh my gosh, testing nuclear weapons. He mentioned that if anyone had anything they wanted to pass on, oh. official channels, that he could help. Uh oh, he's getting ideas. <laughs> it would be treason. Yes, of course. I just thought you should know. Fire a chunk of fission material into a larger sphere with enough force to achieve criticality. What do we think? Anyone? I've been thinking about implosion. Explosives around the sphere blast inwards, crushing the material. I'd like to investigate that idea. I'll talk to ordinance. Can you blow things up? Oh, wow. How long have you been British? Did I told me I wasn't German? Uh -huh. Come. Huh. Finally got him. Compartmentalization is the key to maintaining security. Oh, Who presumably communicate with support? These men aren't stupid. They can be discreet. I don't like it. You don't like anything enough for that to be a fair test. Uh-oh. Maybe you should have listened. You are aware that the Nazis have a two-year head start. Dr. Oppenheimer, the fact that your security clearance is proving difficult to obtain is not my fault. It may not be your fault, but it's your problem. Because I'm going. Wow. We were in a race against the Nazis, and now the race is against the Soviets. Not unless we started. Robert, they just fired a starting gun. What's the nature of the device they detonated? Data indicates it may have been a plutonium implosion device. Like the one you built at Los Alamos. The Russians have a bomb. We still don't know if it had a hydrogen bomb. This knowledge is old, though. It's not that there was leaks. They probably just That's found the old been knowledge. It's been wildly it's Really old. Whoa. Sustaining nuclear chain reaction. Didn't groups tell you? No. What? What the hell are you doing in Chicago? The Met. Why? You can't. Do Why? It. We, have, we have every right. You have just it. the rights that I give you. No more, no less. We are. Oh, adults poor trying guy. To here. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Tell him. Compartmentalization is the protocol we agreed to. Enough of this madhouse. Nobody can work under these conditions. You know what, Generalissimo? I quit. Oh. For nothing. Better off without him. Uh oh. You more concerned about his discretion out there? We'll have him killed. Huh? Oh my gosh. I'm just kidding. No, you weren't. It's me, not America. You're neither humble nor just a soldier. You studied engineering at MIT. Guilty as charged. Now we understand each other. Perhaps you can get Smart security. Smart tactics. Clearance. This merit before you. General Groves, were you aware of Dr. Oppenheimer's left-wing associations when you appointed him? I was aware that there were suspicions about him. I was aware he had a very extreme liberal background. In your opinion, would he ever consciously commit a disloyal act? I would be amazed if he did. So he had huh. complete confidence. And there's only really one question I need to answer here today. In light of the current AEC guidelines, would you clear Dr. Oppenheimer today? I'm told that there were communists on the we project. Knowingly I just knew were any of them involved in discussions of the shooter. I seem to remember you demanding your brother come to Los Alamos. My brother had left already by then. What about Lomonitz? He was never employed at Los Alamos. He was a liaison. Our security was tight as former Colonel well known. Our security was as tight as it could be given the personalities involved. But do we need to talk about Gene Tatlock? Or the Chevalier uh -oh. incident? Excuse me. I've had a lot of secrets in my head for a long time. Doesn't matter who I associate with, I don't talk about those secrets. She was undergoing psychiatric treatment. She was extremely unhappy. Did you find out why oh, she no. had to see you? She loved him, I think. Because she was still in love with me. Mm. I'd rather be here for you as you need. But you have other priorities now. Really? Yeah, he's married. 
child. That's not what either of us is talking about. But he only left her because he got the other one pregnant. Jane, I can't see you again. But what if I need you? You said you would always answer. Not a word. Oh my god. If they don't release the transcript, I'm sure you will. Well, you were under enough to me when you went to see Jean. It was the other way around before that, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my. Day after day, letting them pick our lives to pieces. I want you to fight. Oh, he probably feels guilt. Maybe. By then, there was a lot of guilt, right? Oh, and hybrid in her blood. It was a note. What? She went out to look. We were together. She said she needed me. I. Oh my gosh. I don't I, I wouldn't. I don't. Oh, they're not sure. No, I wasn't. Sure that she did it? Or if she was killed? to commit the sin and then I was all feel sorry for you that it had consequences oh. oh he was the last one that saw her so technically it could you could blame him that he murdered her or something oh my gosh the implosion device is nowhere can't rush everything Oppie please well there's rushing and there's getting on with it so hey let the mind is doing his job Tell us not helping! You're not helping! Life happens. The British can do it. Fuchs. Absolutely. It's your job, Tella. I'm engaged in the research. On a hydrogen bomb, we're not even building! Mm. Oh, that's it. Goodbye. Fuchs, you take Teller's role. I'm putting you exclusively on the implosion device. And no one is leaving Los Alamos. Oh my. Stay here. Research what you want. Fusion, the hydrogen bomb, whatever. We'll meet to discuss. You don't have time to meet. You're a politician now, Robert. You've left physics behind many, many years ago. Oh. Last week. Oh One hour, you and me. Now raise this big barrier. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can't cage them. You gotta let them do what they want. They're scientists. Tried to deny it was viable. No, no, no. I, I pointed out technical difficulties. Didn't you try to kill it at the AEC meeting after the Russian bomb? No. But that was the recommendation of the AEC, was it not? An H bomb is one. Finally, they moved the flowers. Of an A bomb. The it's centerpiece was kind of in the way. The largest cities. It's a weapon of mass genocide. Is he? Where they would target us, starting with New York. That's DC. It's a weapon of attack with no defensive value. Deterrence. Deterrence. Do we really need more deterrence? An hydrogen bomb can be made to work, Abby. You know that. I don't believe we should commit all our resources to have Truman reassure the American people. Simply by limiting the set of atomic weapons through international control on nuclear energy. By which you mean world government. Uh, I asked what Truman should do. Not fascism, but communism that now threatens our survival. Do you understand? If we build a hydrogen bomb, Russians will have no choice but to build their own. No spy at Los Alamos. Gentlemen, no, wasn't. let's not get sidetracked. I say we use this moment to gain concessions. Just stop building bombs. Just stop. <laughs> Thereby revealing its existence. Which you seem convinced they already Wish made. that was the case. Right. We are the advisory committee. We will give them our advice. What do we call the test? Oh my... Out of my heart, three person God. What? Trinity. I hope you learned something. Yeah, we learned we're gonna need to be a lot farther away. Well, figure it out fast. For Washington in the morning, we're gonna give him a date. Well, everyone has a right to education. All of that is education, right? Knowing about communism is education. If we don't act now, they're going to use this thing against Japan. We booked a meeting with Truman, but somebody killed it. You are meeting the Secretary of War. Just because we're building it, doesn't mean we get to decide how it's used. History will judge us, Robert. In Chicago, uh -huh. we put together a petition. I'm not, I'm not getting into that. Just tell me your concerns and I will lay them. My concerns? Germany's defeated. Japan's not going to hold out alone. How could you know that? You got us into this. You and Einstein with your letter to Roosevelt saying we could build a bomb. Against Germany. That's not how weapons manufacture works. Opie, you have to help. You're the great salesman of science. You can convince anyone of anything. The A-bomb might not cause as much damage as the Tokyo bomb. What are we estimating? What? Oh no. 20 or 30,000 dead? But, uh, Underestimating? Don't underestimate the psychological impact of an atomic explosion. A pillar of fire. 10,000 feet tall, deadly neutron effects for a mile in all directions, from one 
single device dropped from a barely noticed B-29, the atomic bomb will be a terrible revelation of divine power. It's true. It's so sad. It would be World War II would be over. Our boys would come home. Mm. Military targets. But there aren't any big enough. Right. If we announce it and it fails to go off, we'd scupper any chance of a Japanese surrender. Is there no way to demonstrate a bomb to Japan really? to provoke surrender? We intend to demonstrate it in the most yeah. unambiguous way. Yeah, talk to them. Twice. Once to show the weapon's power, and a second to show that we can keep doing this until they surrender. We have a list of 12 cities to choose from. Mm. I'm sorry, 11. I've taken Kyoto off the list due to its cultural significance to the Japanese people. Also, my wife and I honeymooned there. Oh, it's a magnificent no. city. The Japanese people will not surrender under any circumstances, short of a successful and total invasion of the home islands. Many lives will be lost, American and Japanese. The use of the atomic bomb on Japanese mm. cities will save lives. If we retain moral advantage. How so? Well, if we use this weapon without informing our allies, they'll see it as a threat. And we'll be in an arms race. Soviets. Secrecy won't stop the Soviets from becoming part of the atomic world. A Russian bomb is a matter of time. The program needs to continue Pace. after the war. Uh, Secretary Simpson. In fact, this might be a moment to consider other opinions. Marcus oh, well, there you go. He mentioned it. But as soon as it's practical, we should sever any such scientists from the program. Wouldn't you agree, Doctor? Oh. If a Russian bomb is inevitable, perhaps we should invite their top scientists to Trinity. President Truman has no intention of raising expectations that Stalin be included in the atomic project. Informing them of our breakthrough and present win the war. Stalin would turn on anyone, right? <laughs> Well, this conference in July will be President Truman's last chance to have that conversation. Can you give us a working bond by then? Everyone cares about their own people. That's what it comes down to. Golden 15th. So if anyone has anything, speak now. Well, they already tried. Is there anything else that might stop us? Weather. Oh. Isn't it? Yep. It's gone our way. Taking the sheets. The amount of stress. Oh, the emotional burden. Oh my goodness. Oh, it'll break before dawn. The world was trying to tell them, don't do it. Mother Nature was on the side of the bomb not working. Of course. 4,000 people, $2 billion. It doesn't go Whoa. well. We're both finished. Well, we had a moment where it looked like the chain reaction from an atomic this might never stop. Setting fire to the atmosphere. And what was the Fermi still taking side bets on it? Call it gallows humor. Oh. Chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world. Nothing in our research yeah. over three years supports that conclusion, except it's the most remote. Possibility. How remote? But there's a possibility. Near zero. Near zero. What do you want from theory alone? <laughs> zero would be nice. 58 minutes. Oh no. That the world could go on fire? Oh my. Anyways, they just, they really believe this would stop all wars. Try not to blow up the world. The jokes. Are they actually testing, like, a nuclear bomb? Are they far enough away? Oh my god. Yeah. They'll go into the atmosphere. One. Oh. Oh my gosh. It was quiet. And it comes after, right? The sound cloud. <gasps> oh my goodness. Whoa. What if that just continued to burn and then it just burned and burned and burned and spread really, really far? And now I am the condemned. Mm. Destroyer of worlds. Yep. The shock wave. <gasps> oh, they're glass. It's gonna break. <laughs> the destroy and creator work in sync. And they're all the same. I'm good. It's not one or the other. Hmm. And then the future. Consequences. Okay. That's it. Got into the wrong hands. I mean... <laughs> he doesn't have control anymore. An overstatement. He referred 
to a powerful new weapon, Stalin. Hoped we'd use it against Japan. That's it. Um, Robert, we've given them an ace. It's for them to play the hand. But I come with you to Washington. What for? Huh, that's it. Your work's done. Keep informed. As best I can. I guess they wouldn't listen that it's extremely dangerous. The fact that we built this bomb does not give us any more any more right or responsibility. Don't excuse anyone else. But they're the only people who know about it. I've told Simpson oh. the community. But what's your opinion? Don't what? use it. Nuclear war, perhaps all war, becomes unthinkable until somebody builds a bigger one. Yep. <clears throat> General? I'm very proud of you and all of your people. It went all right. Apparently, it went with a tremendous bang. Oh, jeez. Unbelievable. Really good about it. It's been a long road. I think one of the wisest things I ever did when I selected the director of Los Alamos. The director takes all the blame. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my. I wonder, was that really the case? Exactly at that moment? Oh no. <gasps> oh my god. Oh jeez, yep. Guilt sets in right away. Your invention to... uh, let us bring our boys home. Well, it was hardly my invention. It was. You on the cover of time. Jim tells me yeah. you're concerned about an arms race for the Soviet. I guess uh, uh, now is our chance to secure international cooperation on <clears throat> atomic energy, and I'm concerned. Do you know when the Soviets are going to have the bomb? I don't think I could give it. Never. No, the, the, the Russians Why? have consistent and, and, and abundant resources. Abundant? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> well, they'll, huh. they'll put everything they have in. You're leaving Los Alamos. What should we do with it? Give it back to the Indians. Mm. Um, Dr. Oppenheimer, if what you say about the Soviets is true, we have to build up Los Alamos, not shut it down. Oh my gosh. And so it starts. President. The race for the bigger bomb. I feel that I have blood on my hands. Mm. You think anyone wow. in Hiroshima or Nagasaki gives a hit who built the bomb? Huh. They care who dropped it. I did. Oh. Hiroshima isn't about you. Don't let that cry baby back in here. Oh my goodness. Pretty sure Robert saw a lot of these people end up getting stress related illnesses. By the time I met him, he fully embraced his father's bomb reputation, used his profile to influence policy. So, during the years following the war, but today that pride must be tempered, a profound concern. If atomic weapons are to be added to the arsenals of a warring world, then the day will come when people will curse the name of Los Alamos. It was probably mm. And then you humiliated him in front of Congress. But more useful than a separate. Oh my gosh. Really? Maybe a little too well, Robert. Wake up! It is Strauss. Always been Strauss, and you know it. Why won't you fight him? It was a Nichols. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you. You gave the father Borden. You set him on Oppenheimer. You convinced him. Borden didn't take any convincing. Take your time, use the entire file. Write up your conclusions, send them to the FBI. There's nothing new here. Your conclusions will be, and they'll have to be answered. Hoover passed them. Wow. Up that guy was the backstabber the whole time. A simple bureaucratic procedure is Q clearance. It's up for renewal. You send your accusations to the FBI. Hoover sends them to the AEC. You're forced to act. You write up an indictment. Tell Oppenheimer his security clearance must not be renewed. But offer him the chance to appeal. As you can see, Robert, it's not yet signed. Rob will have security clearance to examine Oppenheimer's file, as will the great board. Come Just because he insulted him? I don't get this. Close this is weird. So called derogatory information in your indictment of me. No audience, no reporters, no burden of proof. No burden of proof. We're not convicting, just denying. I have to consult my lawyers, Louis. Of course. But 
Don't take too long. I can't keep Nichols at bay. I wonder if he figured it out. I think it's wrong. Or believed his wife, anyway. Finally. You will lose your reputation. We'll lose our house. Robert, we have to fight. As a AC counsel, I can't represent you. I'll call Lloyd Garrison. For providing us with a list need of, of a brief reason. Why lie? Clearly with the intention of not revealing who the intermediary was. Your friend, Pakon Chevalier, the communist. He's still your friend? Yes. Given that we are on the board of all... Everything's unfair. Wouldn't it be better to have it in the record? Let's proceed. The purpose of this letter is to state my opinion, based upon years of study of the available classified evidence, that more probably than not, J. Robert Oppenheimer is an agent of the Soviet Union. Oh my goodness. All these conclusions are is anyone policy. ever going to tell the truth about what's happening here? Well, now here... Oh, that's what this is about. Oh. Well, that answers my question, why they needed to create a film on Oppenheimer. The views I have to express are my own, but I believe that much I have to say will help to indicate why most of the scientists in this country would prefer to see Mr. Strauss completely out of government. You're, you're referring to the hostility of certain scientists directed toward Mr. Strauss because of his commitment to security, as demonstrated in the Oppenheimer affair? No. Because of the personal oh. vindictiveness rated against Dr. Oppenheimer. Mm. Order. Robert Oppenheimer is now being pilloried and put through an ordeal to express his honest opinions. Dr. Bush, oh. I thought I was performing a service to my country when hearing this case. No board in this country would sit in judgment of a man because he expressed strong opinions. Try that case, you should try me. Excuse me, gentlemen, if I become stirred. Dr. Hill, we've already heard. Interesting. Oppenheimer made mincemeat out of Strauss's shipments of isotopes to Norway, and Strauss never forgave him this public humiliation. Another so the scientists got together, got together, and they're sticking up for their own. I've always assumed, and still assume, that he's loyal to the United States. I believe this, and I shall believe it until I see very conclusive proof. Do you or do you not believe that Dr. Oppenheimer is a security risk? I have seen Dr. Oppenheimer act in a way was to me exceedingly hard to understand. I thoroughly disagreed with him in numerous issues, and his actions frankly appeared to me confused and complicated. This extent, I feel... There's never really a yes or no, right? ...in the interest of this country, in hands which I understand better, and therefore trust more. Uh, let's just... Can we just comment on Killian? Like, he is absolutely amazing. You need to stop playing the martyr. Under the current AEC guidelines... Why? Would you clear What's Dr. Up? Oppenheimer to death? Are you familiar with the fact your husband was making contributions to the Spanish Civil War as late as 1942? Robert gave money from time to time. Did you know this money was going into oh, Communist yeah. Party channels? And through Communist Party channels, don't Ye you? Yes. Yes? Yes. In 1942, your husband had not stopped having anything to do with the Communist Party. It's your question. It's not properly phrased. Do you understand? Having at I do. Why don't you answer it that Because I don't like your phrase. Because Robert never had anything to do with the Communist Party as such. I know he gave money to Spanish refugees. I know he took an intellectual interest in communist ideas. The two to communist. That's right. Intellectual Learning about it more. Regular economy. <laughs> well, I couldn't answer that one. <laughs> I couldn't either. Robert, you can't win this thing. It's a kangaroo court with a predetermined outcome. Why put yourself through more? I have my reasons. Well, he stands on the side of truth, right? That was one thing about him. Perhaps you should turn your back on her. Hmm. Damn it, I happen to love this country. Then tell them to go to hell. This is no longer a confirmation oh. hearing. Why would Hill come here to tear me down? What's his angle? People need a reason to do the right thing as he sees it. <laughs> <laughs> But you still got on with your work, didn't you? Yes, because of the exploration, it was not the preparation of a weapon. It was more of a, an academic excursion. No, it is not an academic <laughs> thing. Was so when did these moral bombs become so strong that you actively oppose the development of the hydrogen bomb? But it was suggested that it be the policy of the United States to take these things at all costs without regard to the balance between these weapons and atomic weapons as part of our arsenal. What did moral qualms have to do with it? Yeah. Oppenheimer wanted to own the atomic. He wanted to be the man who moved the earth. He talks about putting the new genie back in the bottle. Well, I'm here to tell you that I know he Robert Oppenheimer. If he could do it all over, he'd do it all the same. Do you know he's never once said that he... He wants regulations. Do it all hmm. over. Why? Because it made him the most important man. 
We, oh, we, we, he's calling him narcissistic. dead at least. Yes. And that's why regulation is needed. But yet you testified in here that the bombing of Hiroshima was very successful. Technically successful. Oh, technically it was very successful. And it is also alleged to have helped end the war. Did you oppose the dropping of an atomic bomb on Hiroshima because of moral scruples? He, he did. I thought he did. I was against dropping it, but I did not endorse it. The scientists were, well, I gave him the views against and the views for. I did my job. I was not in a policy position at Bill Alamos. I would have done anything I was asked. Their efforts would only fuel their efforts just as it had with the atomic bomb. Just as it had with the atomic bomb, exactly. No moral scruples in 45, plenty in 1949. What does that mean? Dr. Oppenheim, when did your strong moral convictions develop with respect to the hydrogen bomb? Well, it was kind of from the beginning. When it became clear to me that we would tend to use any weapon we had, J. Robert Oppenheimer, the martyr, I gave him exactly what he wanted. To be remembered for Trinity, not Hiroshima, not Nagasaki. He should be thanking me. Well, he's not. I don't know. I think it's normal what he's going through. Anyone would feel that. Right? Enough votes. There's the crowning moment in my career about to become the most public humiliation of my life. In the light of your enemy associations and disregard the security apparatus of this country, together with your somewhat disturbing conduct in the hydrogen bomb program and the regrettable lack of candor in certain of your responses to this board, we have voted two to one to deny the renewal of your security clearance. Well, I don't even know what that means, his security clearance. Does that mean he can't leave the country or something? Don't take the sheets. I'm denied. Yeah? I'm afraid so, sir. All right. Who were the holdouts? Um, there were three, led by the junior senator from Massachusetts, and guy trying to make a name for himself, didn't like what to do. Did to Oppenheimer, uh, Kennedy, John F. Kennedy. Oh. Very interesting. I think that if you let them totter and feather you, then the world would forgive you. It won't. I'll see. Hmm. The road to redemption now, huh? Turn the scientists against me one by one, like with Einstein. I talked about the Einstein, Einstein by the pond. You did, but you know, sir, it's nobody really knows what they said to each other that day. It's both that I had lost the ability to understand what had started. So, huh. Oh my gosh. It wasn't for me, it was for all of you. Hmm? Now it's your turn to deal with the consequences of your achievement. Hmm. And one day, when they punished you enough, they'll serve you salmon and potato salad. Wow. They're all so old now. Just remember, it won't be for you. Mm. It will be for them. Whoa. Alvin, when I came to you with those calculations, we thought we might start a chain reaction that would destroy the entire world. Mm. I remember it well. What happened? Well, kind of, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I kind of knew it'd be this would be kind of a tough one. I, yeah, this stuff really hits hard, doesn't it? I mean, on one side, Oppenheimer was definitely a genius. Um, and there's been a lot of advancements, but the whole, I mean, building a war or building a bomb, a nuclear bomb. I mean, he just kind of pieced everything together. There was obviously like, look at that. We saw that there's like a huge team of people that led to the creation of this. But uh, yeah, it all became the arms race, didn't it? And all of this life is just pretty much governed by politics, right? That's what it seems like. And um, I just hope these bombs don't come into the wrong hands. And I hope that we can just find world peace somehow. It's just so sad. On the other side of things, nuclear energy is very useful for a lot of things and a lot of advancements have come since that, which does make life easier today. I would, I mean, that's just what it is. Anyways, I hope you guys liked that. It's a long movie. There was a lot of dialogue there. 
You had to take in a lot. I loved the way they put the way the film is put together is amazing, and the actors are absolutely amazing. Killian was so good, um, and I, as I mentioned before, I watched him in Peaky Blinders, and holy smokes, just totally fell in love with him. He's so captivating. I think we need to watch some more Killian films. Recommend some more Killian films for me. What you guys would like to see me react to? Until the next one, take care, guys. Bye bye.